What's up, everybody? Here we go. Blood on the Razor Wire TV. Share your screen with your audience. Click the button to share your browser tab. Oh, okay. Let's see who comes in tonight, man. Put up a little post that we're going to do a live. It's been a little couple days, but we're going to get it in. We're going to talk about some things tonight that we should probably talk about. Let's see if uh, some of these people are coming in. See if Bam. Bam's in there. What's up, Bam? I don't know about country. I know country, you know, prayers for country. I know that country's grandmother passed away. I know his girl's been going through a bunch of, you know, medical stuff. So I don't know if country will be here tonight, but what's cracking? What's good, Chad? Brandon Clements and finally made it on time. Corey McIntyre in the house. Ski Studios. Ottawa, Canada in the house. Brian Holly. What's up, dude? Got some people in here tonight, man. We're going to kick it tonight. Sparky, man, I appreciate you, man. I got that donation today. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you. Um, What's good, Chad? Hello from Texas. Okay, Texas in the house. Hey, 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 just got off work. I'm just back, brother, but we'll be getting, I'll get with you. We'd like to do a video with you, Chad. I emailed you, Dusty Shaw Fitness. When did you email me? Tonight? Are you the dude that I said, send me your number? A couple of people emailed me, man. Um, damn, man, I got this thing like it's over here picking my nose and shit. Come on, bro. Can you guys see that thing right there? Like it's picking my nose. Come on, boy. New to the channel. What's up? What's up, brother? Go, Ch go Chiefs. Hell no, man. We despise the Chiefs over here, man. We don't want nothing to do with the Chiefs, man. Tom Brady torched us for all them years. Finally disappeared. And who do we get? We get Patty Mahomes to torch us too. Unbelievable. Anyway, man, we're gonna get into a couple things that you've seen the uh the thumbnail, the thing with the immigrants in New York jumping on the police, all kinds of stuff going on in the Middle East. You guys scared yet? And then we got you know them man. Listen, the video that we did the other day on the rapper, right? We're gonna talk a little bit about that, a little bit about federal prison. Um, what you guys think about that dude, man? Like a six-year-old man. And the other dude that actually, you know, gave her AIDS or HIV. Yeah. Yeah. You heard that right. It's not. Oh, I didn't. I didn't misspeak. I mean, that dude's still alive. I'm not promoting, you know, any violence. Um, But how long do you think that cat's going to last? I mean, he's hiding out right now. I think he's at um USP Coleman, too. He's probably over there chilling, eating nacho bowls. No one knows. No one knows the, the real, you know, what he's really in there for. It's disgusting. Absolutely, man. Is that what is that like the worst case you ever heard about? Keep it real, man. Is that like the worst of the worst? You're a rapper, you're out here faking, man, chains on, doing videos with guns in them. And this is what you're doing to little kids, you piece of shit. Man, dude, dudes, man, dudes, bad news, man. Both of them dudes are bad news. But let me tell you how this stuff happens, right? You know, sometimes you're in these places where hor horrible story. Dude needs the wood chipper, man. A wood chipper would be too nice for that cat, right? Maybe he should just wood chip his feet or his toes, you know, like half his foot. You know, like put him in there. Like, whoa, 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 holy shit, dude. Like, oh, man, crazy, bro, crazy. This guy's a real piece of, I mean, dude's a real piece of work. You know what I mean? Dude's a real piece of work. Um, Definitely, I mean, they, they took the other kid out, but, you know, it may not have even been because of the crime. It might have been, you know what, dude was in the hole. They found a knife in his locker. Like, I got a couple little connects here and there, you know what I'm saying? And a couple little staff members might hit your boy up once in a while. Like, yo, bro, check this one out. Um, Wanted to get some pictures, man. Wanted to get his prison pictures, but really, I couldn't do it. Hit that like button, man. You know what time it is. Hit that like button. Hit that like button. Chris and Retro, what's up, brother? Glad to have you in here tonight. Appreciate you. They get DNA out of the chipper. A little birdie told you. <laughs> hey, man, sometimes people look out. You know what I mean? They look out for the cookout. Official like an official with a whistle. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, you know, this is how this stuff happens. He may not have even been killed because of his crime. Dude's probably already knew. I know, they, I know he got caught with a knife. I think he got out. Then they sent him up top. They're like, yo, bro, you can't be here. And if you are, bro, we about to do something to you. Um, What's good, Chad? Main tapping in. Okay, Adam. Glad to see you here. Bam. Shy till I die. Glad to have everybody in here, man. You know what I'm saying? 
hopefully, man, we get this thing jumping at some point. Maybe someday this thing's going to be like, we'll be like, whoa, we're on, we're on for a ride. You know what I'm saying? But you know what, man? It's like a family over here, right? Same people are always here. It's kind of like our little time, man. We spend time together, you know, every night or every other night. You know, a little hour here or there. It ain't going to hurt nobody. But, um, yeah, sometimes you just end up in a cell with the wrong dude. Maybe dude was like, you know what? I was definitely trying to find out, you know, who killed him, man. Um, Had a hard time finding out. But I do know it was his celly. That was his celly in the hole. But, um, you know what? Dude might have just been like, you know what? Man, I don't even like this dude. You can get around some crazy cats in, in, in prison. You know, think now. You can get around some dudes that you think, Tommy Thunder, I see you in here. You get around some dudes you think like, yo, man, dude's an all right dude. Like, yeah, I like this dude. Next thing you know, man, dude's trying to chop you up. Same thing like, you know, Dana Mattingly. If you didn't know who Dana Mattingly was, you thought, man, Dana was an all right dude. You guys remember that story? David Adams, you should have a million already, bro. Best content anywhere. woo Hey, say it again. Um, But anyway, Charlie Parker, man, always in the house. Appreciate you. APA Hood Stories, a seminar. What's up, bro? Hope you're doing well, man. Daniel Congrove. Chad, hook your boy up with that audio book. First audio book, we got 50 likes? Yep, we got 50 likes. Let's get 50 more. We're going to get this brother an audio book. Email me. Audio book will be coming out. Um, Had a brother, man. He's probably going to, I don't know if this brother's in here right now, but let's see. Hey, look, man, remember I had them, remember I had them shoes, man? Had a nice pair of Nikes for this brother. He ended up going to rehab. God bless him. Didn't hear from him. Didn't have a real address for him. And he hit me up, man. He hit me up. And he said, yo, bro, I was in rehab, and this is where I'm at. So honestly, man, we sent him a couple dollars, man. Send this brother out to get him some shoes, get him some jeans, hopefully a couple shirts and some socks. Um, And he's going to comment and post, I think. But I'm not telling you that to be like, oh, Chad, you're a good guy. Just telling you so you know that I kept my word, man. I told his brother we were going to take care of him, and that's what we did, man. We kept our word, man. 63 days he was in rehab. Long time guy here um, on the channel, so we looked out. Can I please get one of those audio books, Chad? Email me. You get an audio book, too. L.A. Dodger Blue gets an audio book tonight. Amy, thanks for being here. Which Amy is that? Man, you guys remember Amy? Amy was part of the show back in the day. Helped put this thing together. And then, you know, like... Let's let, let's just talk about this, right? Because you know, look, man, people, you know, people make mistakes, people make bad choices. Drake Moore, dude, don't realize that prison justice is real. Prison justice is real. And it may not even be for the crime that you did. Um, it may just be because you're around one of the craziest dudes you've ever been around. You guys are like, okay, so we'll get back to that. I'm sorry, I apologize. We're gonna talk about the immigrant thing too in a minute. Dana Mattingly, you guys remember that story? Let me see if anybody remembers that story. Brandon, I made a live. Hello from Long, Long Island, New York. Rich, glad to have you in here. So anyway, Daniel Mattingly, I don't think he's related to Don. You know what I'm saying? You guys remember Don, right? New York Yankees. What's the email address? Post that email address for me if you can, Bam. Um, Amy, glad to have you. No matter if you're here from the beginning or if you're here now, we're glad to have everybody in here. So anyway, Dana Mattingly was a dude, just absolute nutcase. Was in prison with him. It turns out to be a, a nutcase. You think, man, Dana's an all right dude. He's always doing burpees. You don't really know what Dana's in jail for. But it turns out, man, that, you know, Dana, I think he had a robbery or whatever. But he also was wanted. Uh oh, I didn't turn off the phone. Sorry about that. Attorney says Donald Trump is likely going to prison for a long time. What the hell? That just came across. Boy, I think if Donald Trump don't win the election, he may very well be in trouble. There's a lot of people out there gunning for old Donnie. Um, but who knows? You know, who knows what's going to happen? Maybe you get some jurors on there that, you know, hung jury at the very least. I think that'll probably be what happens. You know, they're counting the Don out, right? Damn, you go count Don out? You never know what Don's got up his sleeve. Hit up the email. Hold on one second. We'll get back there. So, um, damn, man. Anyway. Donald Trump, we need him. We all in trouble if he don't become president. Boy, if he loses, I think his ass might be in trouble, man. I think he might be in trouble. Uh, released a bunch of people. Kodak Black got clemency, and he's back in. Um, you guys might remember just how do you know if someone has a 5K1? You don't always know, my friend. Um, always still here. Just been quiet. Where's country? 
country's grandmother passed away, man, unfortunately. And his girl's going through a bunch of stuff and he's sick. Um, but anyway, Dana Mattingly, you know, there's some allegations that he killed some, some people, man, did some vicious stuff to him. All this stuff comes out later on. Um, but Dana, he's in USP Tucson. There's a dude there that, you know, was like, hey, had a violation. Dude had like a two-year violation. Imagine this. Two-year violation. He was also, uh, um, he used to listen to Color Me Bad. Remember that back in the day? I want to say you up. Yeah, dude had a, a SO offense, okay? Uh, so Dana's like, hey, bro, um, I want to tie you up and, um, should I even say this on here? I want to tie you up, bro, and um, play the skin flu. <laughs> He's like, what? I want to play the skin flu. And uh, I'll give you 20 books of stamps. I'll give you 100 bucks if you let me tie you up. And and dude's like, okay, Dana, let's do it. Dana ties dude to the bed, puts the sign up. Now, look, I didn't really know that Dana was a nutcase for real until after all this shit happens, right? Um, So Brandon Clements puts the smiley face. Skin flu. <laughs> anyway, I'm in one of the moods, bro. I'm tired. I've been up since 445 this morning working on a big case trying to get this dude out of jail which I think I'm going to win. It's always nice when you win, right? Um, But anyway, you know, he's like, yo, bro, I want to tie you up and do my thing, bro. And dude's like, okay, for a hundred bucks. Yeah, bam, bam. Whoa. So he gives him the 20 books of stamps, ties the dude up, and brutalizes this kid. You know, them degree deodorants that they sell in prison on the commissary? Those of you that haven't been to jail, just Google it. He tapes two of those up, puts that in the old, in the hatch. Um, takes the knife out. Dana was from, um, yeah, the deodorant guy. Dana was from Kentucky, man. When he was a kid, he was hit by a semi truck and they kind of like try to say, you know, that's why he was off the, off the rails. His brain was messed up, but you would never know, man. Never know. Dana ties a dude up, man. Takes out his prison made shank, hits him in the eye pieces, stuffs a sock in his mouth and says, bro, if you yell, I'm going to stab your eyes out. Don't say nothing. I'm going to take your eyes out. Imagine that. And Dana's just a little fella, man, like five foot five, works out all the time, got some arms on him like a beast, hangs out with all the white dudes. Hey, what's up, bro? What's going on, guys? Hey. You know, you think Dana's, you know, in here for bank robbery. And really, Dana's a, a may very well have been a serial killer, man, in Kentucky. Some people came up missing. Um, <laughs> I think he buried them. I mean, this dude had some, some crazy shit going on. How old was he? Dana or the victim? The victim was a younger dude, man, 28, 29 years old. Um, facts, race, way stranger than fiction. This guy, hey, this guy right here, man, if you guys haven't checked him out, listen, man, some people might get mad at me, like, bro, don't be friends with that dude. But um, this dude's funny as hell, man. Like, some of the videos that he does, I'm just like, like, wow, okay, facts, way stranger than fiction. But um, anyway, I think I stole his line a few times, too, that, you know, facts way stranger than fiction. Or did he steal that from someone else? Anyway, man, definitely appreciate you being here, bro. So, yeah, man, Dana tells the dude, hey, I'm going to stuff these socks down your throat if you yell. And Dana puts socks down his throat and then, you know, takes him out. Takes this 20 books of stamps from him. Whatever else happened in that cell, you know, Dana's not going to tell you, you know, the true story. And I end up in the hole with Dana and he's in the cell next to me. Um, I mean, he's in the wreck cage next to me and I talked to Dana in the hole and I'm thinking, man, this dude is really like, it's crazy because you have a conversation with this dude and you're like, man, dude, you know, dude's on right. Like, like he's just a regular, you know, regular white dude. Like, Hey, what's up, man? What's going on, bro? And then he does, you know, the craziest shit like ever in prison. He takes the stamps back after he butchers this dude, puts his lights out. Dude leaves his blood where on the razor wire. Like, he's gone. The only thing left to him is his spirit probably floating around this prison. And dude was an SO. Um, and Dana just takes him out, goes out there, takes the stamps back. He's playing poker. You hear, yard recall. You know, on the big speaker, recall. All inmates return to your housing unit. All inmates return to your housing unit. Because the cop walks by and finds dude in the cell. And Dana's walking. He's like, hey, man, you don't have to look for anybody. I did it. Like, what the fuck? You did you Whoa, put your hands behind your back. You know, if I'd have been there and seen that shit and you'd have came in, I'd be like, hey, back up, Dana. Get hey, you know, Dana, Dana was off the chart, man. Did you see Rogan's episode with Josh Dubin and Sheldon Johnson when you going on? 
Everybody on here should write Joe Rogan and be like, yo, you need to interview this dude. I didn't see it, man, but I know he's done some like bullshit interviews with dudes that were in prison, man. Dudes that didn't really give it to him real and raw, right? No stories from the penitentiary surprise me anymore. It's crazy, right? A good celly sleeps on his belly. What the? F Let me find out that Dana's in the chat under the name Adam Casey. <laughs> I'm just playing, bro. I got USP Lee legal team. Two out that had life sentences that are free now. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. I'm homies with Joey Diaz. I'll hit him up for you. Hit him up, bro. Let's get on there. Chad, I like your channel better than Rogan. Rogan's that dude. That guy Joe Rogan interviewed was horrible. Hey, look, man. Tell Joe Rogan to bring your boy on, man. Tell him to read the book. Tell him we'll send him an audio book. Send him a, a regular book side, man. Like, read this shit, dude. And we'll talk about it. We'll talk about the real shit that goes on. Yeah, you want to go on Joey Diaz's page? Sign us up, man. Get us on there. Great channel and content with a positive vibe. That's what's up. No Kentucky State Prison video out. I don't know. We got to get some. Yeah, get us on Joe Rogan. Let's go. Fed time. So anyway, um, these are the type of people that you're around. So, you know, dude's over there chilling, man. He's like, damn, bro. He's probably sitting around like, damn, I got a life sentence. And I'm going to tell you guys something that's crazy, right? Sometimes when you do the shit that them dudes did, you know, you're out there in the street faking at the highest level guns and doing rap videos with guns, you know, 40 cows and all of that shit. Rest in peace, King Von. I know Chad and Rogan would click. We probably would. We'd love to go on there, bro. That'll blow us up, man. That'll blow us up for at least a week, right? I mean, you're a better channel than Rogan and Mike, but I'm down to write him and spam him. Send him the audio, hell. Hey, let me see if my boy Bam, man, he makes moves. Bam makes moves for your boy. We need um, we need a couple more likes, man, so we can start giving out some more audio books. Let's go, man. We got 97 likes. Hit that like button. Don't cost you a penny. They say it helps you. I don't know if it helps you or not, but hit that like, man. You know, like these people love to see money. YouTube likes to see money. That's all they care about, man. Man, I'll fly to Texas tomorrow. Joe Rogan calls, man. Damn, I don't know if I, no, I got the money. I'll jump on a plane and head down there. Why wouldn't I, right? Um, yeah, so anyway, man, these dudes are in prison. They're chilling. They think they're good, man, eating nachos. And in their mind, like, damn, I got a life sentence. But some of these cats, they accept it. You know what you did, and this is it, bro. When they first walk in, they're probably scared as hell. But they sent them to USP Terre Haute. wasn't always the way that it is. It's now mainly a dropout yard, people that can't make it in other places, right? So anyway, Drake Moore, I'm going with you. Yeah, we might need security, playboy. Hit me up. You ever meet a bank robber giving state time instead of feds? Honestly, I don't know. Can't say that I have. 118 likes. Hit that like button, man. We got some big things to do tonight. So anyway, um, like I was saying, dude walking around scared when he first gets there, and then he gets comfortable like, yo, you know, most people here, are, I don't know, whatever they want to call it, fucked up, I guess. So I'm just good, but this is my life, man. And some people accept it like this is my life. When you do something to a to a six year old, and she ends up with HIV AIDS, you know it's over, bro. In your mind, you're like, "Damn, it's over." But the judge, but the judge. This is the difference between New York, the immigration thing, and judges down south, Arkansas. They don't play games. Texas, they don't play games. Georgia, they don't play games. Eastern District of Kentucky, they don't play games. Dude thinks he's getting 20 years for the for the stuff that he's done, right? And his mind's like, "I'm good. I'm gonna get 20." And the judge says, you know what? You did some horrible shit. So your guideline range is, what was his guideline range? Anybody remember? 262 to 327, maybe? Maybe somewhere in there. He thinks he's getting 22 years. Lawyer's probably like, man, you cop out, you're going to get 20. And the lawyer probably wanted to line his ass up, too, for what he's done, right? And the judge says, you know what? I'm going to go over the guidelines. I'm going to give you a life sentence, bro. What you did is absolutely horrible. Now, in New York, if he did that, you know, he might have got out on no bail. You get out. You know what I mean? We're not giving you any bail, buddy. We're going to let you back in the street, and you better get a job. What? After what you just did to a six-year-old? So the judge, you know, goes over the guidelines, but there was an appeal in. 
And you know what? It's a possibility they win that appeal. Unless you go, you got a, you know, some judges on there to think the same way as a sentencing judge. Like, yo, the judge had the discretion to do this. You're a bad dude, man. Oh, man, you're doing stuff like that to kids and giving them AIDS. You probably uh, UFC match, Joe versus Chad. Damn, bro, don't have me fighting a dude. I'm trying to get on his podcast. And then we can box. We'll box it out. If Joe Rogan wanted to box me, I'd box it, man. Let's get it in, bro. You should email Chad and do an interview. Big Greg. I got five years in Kentucky, East Kentucky, Floyd County for selling four perks. They don't play no games over there, man. What's a dropout yard? So let's talk about a dropout yard, man. Then we got to get to this other thing. Dropout yard is what? Don't get, don't make no mistakes, man. That dropout yard, there's some real gangsters over there too. I promise you that. Um, dropout yard is dudes that walk away from the gang. They got a big program right now, dropout program in Lewisburg. Dudes that are getting out of the 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 you know getting out of their gang or whatever. They got that going on over there. Um, so dudes are dropping out, but don't think because they dropped out, man. Joe Rogan got them hands. He kicks her bone breaking though. His kicks are. Shit, we ain't going to do no kicking, bro. We're going to do some boxing. That's it. That's it. I don't want to get kicked, man. See them dudes kicked down? I'm not a good kicker, man. Yes, I did. I seen that, Miss Jones. She shot the stepfather, right? Joe Rogan is jacking. I'm, bet I'm betting on Chad. I mean, I got a couple little hand skills. You know what I'm saying? The jab is good. Hold on. You can't even see that, man. Let's see if that jab is good. You know, pop, pop. Got a little something. She held him at gunpoint until the cops came. Crazy, right? So anyway, man, what do you guys think about this immigration thing, right? Everybody's pissed off. Yo, they're mad at the DA. Hockle's talking about, why did they let them out? Why didn't they call immigration? We got to fix this. Man, that lady's a dummy. I'm half his age. Well, shit, he's been UFC in it forever, man. <laughs> let me win one. So anyway, man, you guys see like these dudes jump on the cop and jump on the cops, kind of beating them down. Um, um, they're beating them down. They go to jail. They all get out. They're like giving the fingers, and then I guess they get like a free bus ride, free tickets to go to California. And they're just, I don't know, how are they gonna find these cats? They're talking about, hey, we're gonna indict them. We're gonna now the DA's involved. We're gonna indict these guys. We're going to put him in jail. Roland Hope from Baltimore just came out the state prison. Hey, email me, bro. Email me and tell maybe you should do an interview. You just came from Baltimore from that Maryland prison system. I'd love to talk to you, man. And I got an audio book for you, man. Hit me up. Chad, a prison fighter. Uh, yo, bro, I've seen some prison fighters that can't fight. You're like, damn, bro. There was like a gang member. They're like, I'm going to get you, motherfucker. And you're like, damn, dude. Just hit him with that straight jab. You know what I'm saying? Slow him down. I'm going to definitely check out them videos. Joe, if you're watching this, you want to interview me, bro, I'll come on. But I take back the offer to box you. I don't want any beef with you, bro. If you got the hardest spinning back kick anyone ever seen, I'm good. And now they said, like, these dudes were, like, I don't know, what were they, stealing phones and then taking all your money out of your account and buying pools back at the crib? I mean, that was on Fox News. Um, so, you know, or if you watch CNN, it's a different narrative. They usually pick it up when there's a gun involved. Yeah, so people are all bent out of shape about these dudes jumping on the police. And they're like, yo, they shouldn't be here. Look, man, this is the system that people created, man. In New York, I mean, you can pretty much do what you want, man. Um, and I think it's, you know, you know what, man? Coming from prison and all of that shit, I just think, man, I think it's sad when we live in a society where it's like the world is, the world's crumbling, man. If you ain't watching, it's crumbling. Dudes are in the mall. Dudes are, dudes go in the mall with these bags. They just start stealing. Yo, know, I'm talking about 50 pairs of, of shoes. Um, They could at least donate some for the giveaway. You know, I'm just playing like, yo, pretty soon these motherfuckers, you're going to have to order everything online. You can't even try on a pair of Jordans. You can't even see if they fit because you have to get everything online. I mean, it's the world we're living in. You know what I mean? Chad, YouTube took my name down. It's Jimmy Gunn. Okay, James. 
Greg, you can email me, bro. Maybe we can do something. We'll put something together. Um, I'm trying to put something else that I think is really good together. Look, man, just been super busy. If you guys see what, what my office is, I'm going to do a live from my phone one of these days. And we'll do a tour of the office, huh? Check out the, you know, maybe I'll put the boys on and all that. I told you that I would, so I'm going to. Also, don't let me forget. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I messed up tonight. Let me see if I can find this real quick. Nope. Can't find it because my wife came in my office. My wife came in my office and she took the shirt. The next live, I'm going to rock this shirt for my boy, um, Espinosa. He's got his own company. He, made, he donated to us. That's not the reason I'm rocking his shirt. But we're going to rock his shirt on the next live. And we're going to give him a shout out for his company. And you know what, man? I don't want nothing out of it. I just I want this brother to prosper because he's a good dude. Um, but my wife took the shirts out of the office. I guess she's doing laundry for me, um, even though those shirts weren't dirty. But it's all good. Thanks anyway. I don't know if she's tuning in. Hello, Life Game. Been doing that back in the 80s. Is that Jimmy Gunn from the AB? That's Jimmy Gunn. Jack Straw, Wichita. That's Jimmy. That's the Jimmy Gunn that you're talking about. Um, some of you guys might remember Mike Marino. We had brought Mike Marino on. Got a little video that we put together about Cadillac. Was Cadillac handcuffed when old Tommy and Clay got at him? You know, different people. Ronald Hope, I need your email. Chad, let me see. Let me put this up here real quick. Freedom Fighters PC at gmail.com. You ever have days when your uh, fingers aren't working very good? Freedom Fighters PC at gmail.com. You want the audio book? You want to hit me up? Hit me up on there. Why does it matter if he was handcuffed? Well, because they feel that if he was handcuffed, that it wasn't fair. But then there's also some stuff and some investigative reports where they say that he wasn't handcuffed and that he stabbed back. You know, listen, people paint whatever narrative they want. Fair, it's a murder. Hey, listen, bro. Ain't nothing fair in love and war, right? I understand that. I respect that. Damn, foot's itching like a month. But some people are pissed off about it still to this day, man. Um, And you know something, man, when, I don't know, man. There, there's some other There's some other videos that have been out where, People were pissed off. I did not see the video with Casper. I don't do a lot of YouTube watching, man. I just don't. I'm too busy, man. Chad finished the book. was great. Going to grab Pete Early's No Human Contact on Tommy Next. Hey, No Human Contact's a good book, man. Really, that's Tommy Silverstein's book. That was his book. And James Early was his, was his friend. They built a friendship. Chad, I need a T-shirt. James, I need a T-shirt, too. I quit selling them T-shirts, man, because I wore them all. Where was that interview? Which one? What, early? Chad, I need Bill's tickets. Yeah, me too. What's my favorite book? I mean, you see it right there. Oh, this way. Blood on the Razor Wire TV with Josh Allen below. Um, Nah, man, my favorite book of all time was a, was a fiction book. And it was by John Grisham, The Chamber. I love The Chamber, man. I found last week that the police can indict and convict a dead man. Don't know about that. Like this kid that was, he, he was on appeal that got murdered. Conviction is gone. No longer convicted of what he did. Yeah, he's dead. It doesn't really matter, right? But if his case was on appeal at the time, the conviction's vacated and it's over with. John Grisham helped me through. Me too, man. And I read a lot of these other books, man. Wilbur Smith. When I was in the hole, I did like 14 months in the hole. Read a bunch of them Wilbur Smith books, man. And I thought they were really good. John Grissom. That, dude, that's how I got into, look, that's how I got into the whole law thing, man. I read that um, that chamber when I was in the county jail, man. Like Terrence Gangsta Williams. I read that book, man, and, and I was off to the races. Then I started, and then the next thing I read, believe it or not, was the jailhouse lawyer's manual. I'm like, man, I got to figure out how to get out of here, man. I was 16 or 17 with a state case. Like, I got to figure this out. Aaron Hernandez. L.R. Stein, Fear Street, got me through Juvie. The Street Lawyer by John Grisham. I don't have any hard copies, Greg. I don't even, now I just tell people, grab the books off Amazon, man. Um, But I'm probably going to get some more and 
we'll, we'll start doing something with the books, man. I'm just, I'm buried, man. When I do legal work, I'm buried, man. I'm buried because I, I, that's what I do, man. And you know something? I enjoy doing it. It doesn't bother. It's something I like. You know what they always say, man, get a job that you like. I like that job. And I like when we win. We win and we get people out of jail. You know, that's what matters, man. Getting people out that deserve to get out, right? So really, we should do a little more talking since we put these cats in the on the thumbnail. Do you guys want to kind of like check out some of this stuff? They said these cats bought cars and pools. Do you guys believe that? These dudes bought cars and pools. Authorities now say six of the migrants accused of jumping a pair of police officers in Times Square took off for California. And the group involved in the assault was being eyed in a larger conspiracy in which the migrants use Apple Pay on stolen phones to buy cars and pools. Damn, bro, it's a crazy world, right? Yo, let me steal this dude's phone. <laughs> hey, bro, uh, send me over two pools, man. My mom's house in Guatemala, if you can. Yeah, me, I need two. Like, what the fuck? How is that even happening? In addition, immig immigration warrants have now been issued for several of those who fled, the senior law enforcement source said. I mean, these cats were putting the beats on the police. Man, you guys seen the video? Whoa, my man comes in for the jump kick. He misses, falls down. Holy shit. The video's playing while I'm reading this. Damn, we might have to watch that one more time. What do you guys think? Is that crazy or what? The violent group is part of a larger conspiracy involving other new arrivals in the city. The migrants first steal phones from victims and then use Apple Pay and credit cards to make large purchases back in their home countries. They're buying cars back in Ecuador and Venezuela, the police source said. They're putting pools in their homes there. All this money is going back and forth. That's why the larcenies are going out of control. It's unbelievable what they're doing. They believe the activities are organized and gang-related, but aren't sure which gangs or crews are involved at this point. The gang trend, the Arguawa from Venezuela is one of those being eyed in the criminal activity, the sources confirmed. Former NYPD Chief of Intelligence John Miller first reported on the link on what? CNN Friday. Police have an idea of where the men are, but can't pick them up unless they miss their court date since they were released without bail. Now, if they go indict them, they can, you know, probably go get them. The White Denzel, man, where you been, playboy? Chad, how can I buy an audio book? I can only find a few video of yours reading a couple of chapters. Email me. That email's at the top, bro. I'm going to give you a free audio book. You don't even have to buy it. If you want to donate to the channel, you can do it right here, right now. I think it makes YouTube think that we're doing good. You can donate whatever, man. Five bucks, ten bucks. You got a free audio book, bro. I'm not charging you. Email me. Hot House, Blood on the Razor Wire, great books. Doing Time Like a Spy is also good. So anyway, the fleeing migrants were thought to have gone to a faith-based charity who provided their bus tickets to the Golden State. But authorities now believe taxpayer money was used instead. Big Apple migrants are giving us, hey, man, these people are crazy, right? Let's go beat the shit out of the police, man. And, hey, man, give us a free ride. Like, I don't understand, like, how, how crazy it is and how you can just do things, like, without no one, like, catching on or checking in or, like, hey, bro, like, something's up. Big Apple migrants are given a special identification known as a G number when they arrive and are placed in the shelter system to track them throughout the shelter. They can use the numbers to get tickets to travel anywhere else in the U.S. So if you come here, man, and you don't like New York, bro, we'll say, hey, man, try Hawaii, bro. Why not? Hey, how about California? <laughs> get a bust. Man, this shit is crazy, man. <clears throat> You sent me a free audio book on the last one. Would love to donate for you. What are the steps? I think you can just go right here on the chat and like hit that money sign, man. And just, I don't know. You can do something like that. Maybe there's like a little money sign, I think, on the bottom of this chat, right? Like I can't see it. Just tap, yeah. So anyway... The officers were, were attacked on 42nd Street near 7th Avenue around 8.30 p.m. after they were called to the area because of a robbery at an Aldo store there. Migrants hang out outside the nearby Candler building and are known to rob handbags from the shoe store. So, yo, bro, police are here, man. We got to get up out of here. So, I mean, there's probably, that's probably what happened. They're probably stealing some shit, whatever. You know, you think like some petty shit. And the police come and they're like, yo, bro, we ain't going to jail. Not tonight. We ain't going. We're fighting back. Then you see dude get released. He's like giving them, you know, throwing up the bird and like, give me my free ticket, man. I'm about to try Arizona tonight. Okay, John, hope it worked. It worked big 20 piece. Okay, brother. 
Make sure you email me, Charlie Brown, $2. I love Charlie Brown, man. My son's name's Charlie, right? He looks like Charlie Brown a little bit, and I guess maybe I did too when I was a kid. But anyway, appreciate you guys, man, making them donations. We're going to give out them books. John, make sure you email me, bro. I'll send you an audio book in the morning, maybe tonight. But definitely appreciate you guys donating. So what do you guys think? What do you guys think about, like, oh, bro, give me a ticket, man. I'm trying to go wherever. Wherever. Yeah, man, let's try Ohio. I wonder if they can do that shit in Ohio, man. How about Vermont? Show up in Vermont. Got that info, Chad. Good looking, homie. One other question. Did you know a dude from Baltimore when you was in Big Sandy or any other spots? I know. I, oh, dude, Fry. I don't know who Fry is, man. Knew a bunch of Baltimore dudes, though. Some good dudes from Baltimore. I met a lot of good dudes from Baltimore, man. You're an entertaining guy and show. Oh, appreciate you, man. Appreciate you, man. Definitely appreciate it. So anyway, man, like this whole world, like when I say the world's like out of control, it's crumbling. Like, where, when would you ever think that you could like jump on the police? I remember back in the day, you jump on the police, they're whipping your ass and you ain't getting out of jail, right? But now you can whip the police. They ain't whipping your ass. You're going to jail for the night. And then you're getting out in the morning, and then you get a ticket to Disney World. Yeah, you know, kind of. They should do a freaking Super Bowl commercial with them cats, don't you think? Think about that, right? <laughs> We're in Disney World, thanks to the taxpayers in New York City. He'd be like, "Damn, bro, the New York mayor Stephen sending them to Canada for free." Wish I'd go back to the U.S. Used to, used to go twice a year up until I caught cases. Man, I want to see you on Joe. I want to see me on Joe Rogan too. Now there is cameras. Charles Coleman with the 20 piece. Appreciate it. Jump on the police. They used to jump on us. For sure. I don't know, man. When I was a kid, man, the police came. I used to run. Now these dudes are swinging on them. You know what I'm saying? The police are coming. I ain't trying to go to jail. I'm out of here, man. These dudes are like, yo, what's up? Alex Jones is not my father, man. We're going we're gonna to block you for that shit, bro. Once I lose some weight, slim up. You won't be thinking that me and Alex Jones, man, shit ain't that bad, bro. Still got a little something in the arms, right? Just kidding. It's all good, bro. We're not going to block you, man. We're not going to block you. Charles Coleman, man, we appreciate you, man. Thank you. $20 victory. Boop, boop. That's what I'm talking about. Charles, man, you need an audio book? Email me. You got one, brother. If any of us jumped the police, white or black, we'd be in jail for sure. You know what else pisses me off, man? Hold on. Who do you think is going to win the Super Bowl? Damn, bro. The truth of the matter is this. I'm a Bills fan, right? Everyone knows that. When I was a kid, I was a 49ers fan as a little kid because of Joe Montana, Tom Rathman, Roger Craig, Jerry Rice, Ronnie Lott. Um, and the first game I ever watched was the Super Bowl. And I'm like, I like that team, Mom. That's my team. Um, But, man, I don't know, man. Kansas City, man. Patrick Mahomes. Hate to say it, man, but he's that dude, bro. I do not like Travis Kelsey. I think he's a sucker. Don't like him at all. And ain't because of, you know, the stuff with old girl or not. Like, I don't care who he's dating. Why would I? How old are you, Chad? That's a secret, homie. That's a secret, bro. Everyone smash that like button like a chomo. El Salvador is handling crime. I mean. Hey, man, and people are living on edge over there, right? And I got some real good friends that are from El Salvador. Me and my wife, man, Juan and Anna. Juan watches the show sometimes. Um, definitely, hey, Juan's my boy, man. He's my Buffalo Bills partner. They live in Houston. They're Bills fans, and he goes to every Bills game, whether it's in Buffalo or Kansas City or New York. That brother's there, brother, in L.A., um, but he's my boy, man. You know, like, I think that you can't have people running around total chaos, right? You know, victimizing, you know, women and even men, man, they're just trying to make a make a life, man, trying to provide for their kids. And these boys are over there taking everything. Yeah, bro. All right, I'll tell you the truth, bro. I'm 45, man. Damn, bro. I'm getting old up in this thing. Send Travis Kelsey. To, yeah, I don't like Travis because of what he said to Josh Allen. It's amazing you even made it here. Like, you know, man, dude, you know, I don't like dudes like that, man. I think that they're Man, people think they're better than other people. <laughs> you know what, man? Because that shit you got, probably not for him, but, you know, some of these people, shit, you're in your prime. <laughs> Older, more 45, going on 18, trying to be 18. For I tell people I'm 24. 
Same age I uh, went to jail at, man. I was 24 when I went to jail. I still feel like I'm 24. Chad, what can I do to help you? Write Joe Rogan, bro. <laughs> My bad. His name was Itchy Man. So anyway, man, um, Kansas City Chiefs, man. I'd like to see the Niners win. But, man, you can't count the Chiefs out. And I think the AFC was a whole lot tougher than the NFC. What do you guys think? What is the price of an audio book? We sell them for 25 bucks, bro. But tonight, just email me, man. You want to make a donation, you can hit the money sign down there. If you don't, it's cool. Just email me. You got a free audio book tonight. If you want to look out, man, on, on YouTube, that's cool. I think if we put a little dollar right there, maybe it helps, man. Maybe it makes YouTube think like, oh, we're making money off this dude. So let's push his content out. I don't know. I think Taylor Swift is suiting up for KC. AFC is way tougher, dude. I believe it 100%. Way tougher division. Best best players in the NFL and are in the AFC. That's how I feel, man. That's how I feel. All right, brother. I got I got your email. I got you, man. I got you. Gonna dye myself brown and head for the border. Get me some tax money back. What the fuck? Yeah, Joe Rogan, man. Hit him up. Everybody should spam Joe Rogan. Yo, man, check out Blood on the Razor Wire TV. You want a dude that was in the feds to come on your show and tell you how it really works? A dude that was really in the trenches. Get up, Chad Box. Anyway, Charles Turk. Damn, bro, I'm 65 and I still think I'm 20 in my mind. But I look in the mirror, I scare the shit out of myself. Who is that old man? You want to know something I seen today, man? It was funny as hell. And I posted it on my Facebook. You guys ever go in the store back in the day and grab a couple gummy bears or gummy? They were gummy worms back when I was a kid. At the grocery store, they used to have the bulk food section. They don't really have that shit no more, right? Grab a couple gummy worms. You might grab some. Everybody grabs grapes, bro. Even law-abiding citizens. Don't lie. You had a couple of grapes walking by. You're walking around shopping. And today, someone posted a picture. It looked like it was at a super Walmart. You know, Walmart, you know, sells rotisserie chickens, all of that good shit. They sell clothes. Man, someone ate half a rotisserie chicken and just left it up on the shelf. Like, they're walking around just eating the chicken, man. Like, <laughs> Put it up. Maybe it was a homeless dude. Maybe it was someone that was hungry. Or maybe it was someone just like, yo, man, I like free shit. You know, sometimes people like free shit. And if you got free stuff, well, well, why shouldn't we have it? Free bus tickets to Disney World. Free rotisserie chickens. Come on in. Like, come on, man. Get on media's networks legal and talk about Alabama. Hey, man, you know what, man? Alabama's just... Dude, I did my piece on Alabama, tried to help bring some attention to them dudes. And what they got going on over there, it's absolutely horrible. But you know something, man? It's unfortunate a lot of these dudes bring this shit on themselves, man. You're running around killing each other. You're running around, you know, being part of the problem instead of trying to fix it. They're like, we don't care. They're killing each other. Common sense, man. Get your life together, man. And I'm not promoting any type of violence in any prison. Chad, you're the fucking man, bro. All honor from Philly. Your boy, Bamski. Okay, Bamski. Walmart has the craziest stuff to happen. Big Spider, Southern California, like your show. David, definitely appreciate you being here, man. Hey, you know, some people go to hang out at Walmart on the weekends, right? Sometimes with hillbillies and shit like, hey, what are you doing tonight, buddy? Heading on down to the Walmart. Then going to the ice cream shop next door, getting one of the most soft serve. <laughs> Nothing going to change. It's Bama. Greg, just sent you an email if you want to talk and help some people. Okay, I got you. I'll hit you up in the morning, bro. How's Red doing? I don't know, but I hope Red's doing all right, man. I haven't heard from Red in a little bit. Red was my boy, man. Jay from Boston. Is that big Jay, man? We're in prison with? But anyway, man, you guys like that Irish flag in the back, right? Like, where is it at when I'm on here? Boom, where do I have to point? Bang, there it is. That's a pretty nice flag, man. That was donated to me, and I appreciate it. But anyway, listen, man, we'll probably get ready to close. We've been down here for 45 minutes. I do like to come on here and talk to everybody, man, and, you know, spend a little time together hitting them hundreds right there, hitting them love signs, hitting them smiley faces. We appreciate everybody, man, that's here, man, everybody that's part of the channel. You know, a lot of people have been here. I love the Bills hat. Hey, man, win, lose, or draw, man, I'm a Bills fan. Um, I told my wife that, you know what, man, I'm done with this. But you know what? Next year I'll probably be at the games. It's something that I enjoy doing. Um, but, man, I really hope we can make it, man. 
But you know the Bills did save your boy some money, right? Because I might have been out there with a, a cup, man. Talking about, hey, man, I need money for the Bills Super Bowl. Diehard fan. Standing on the avenue. I would have had to try to make it, man. Damn, bro. Casper, you are the man. Chad, wish you were around when I got my case. Now my brother is doing 20 in the feds and sister doing like five. Compassionate release, brother, for your brother. Might help. Who wouldn't do two years for a million bucks? Damn, bro. You know what, man? Whew. I got two little boys, man. I have to stay home, bro. I let them keep their million, bro. I know you probably be like, man, you're full of shit, Chad. I'm telling the truth, man. I spent so much time there, bro. I couldn't go back, man. And I couldn't leave my kids, man. I'd be heartbroken. I'd be on like that 60 days in. I'd be like, uh, yo, get me up out of here. I got to go. I don't care about no money. I don't care about no 60 days. I'm not leaving my kids, man. Can't do it, bro. But it's all good. But after you spend 18 years in that piece, you don't never want to go back. 199 likes. Let me get one more like so I can go ahead and head upstairs, take care of the kids, man. We'll get them audio books out, man. Letting everybody know, man. We appreciate you. We love you. Uh, my wife's probably watching The Bachelor or Bachelorette, whatever it is tonight. So I'm hit, man. I'm going to bed early. I'm going to wake up at 5. Wake up at 5 every morning, man. I'm to work. 5 o'clock in the morning, I'm working. Chad, were there any tough white dudes from Florida you knew in the feds? Oh, I'm sure there were some tough white dudes in there. There's some tough honkies all over the place, man. You know what I'm saying? All over. Matthew Nickel. My boy, Matthew Nickel. Let me tell you about Matthew again. Okay, so Matthew Nickel. Every time this dude watches a video, he sends me a dollar, right? Brother did some time. Things ain't all that easy when you walk out of there. I appreciate this dude, man. I appreciate him, man. Good dude, man. That funny guy, Brian. Love you, Chad. Well, that funny guy, we love you back. Thank you for the donation. We appreciate you. Super Bowl prices are dropping. They should because who really wants to see – who really wanted to see the Chiefs? Man, we're going to get ready to go, but who really wanted to see the Chiefs and the Niners? You want to see Detroit on there, right? Keep it real. Like, hey, I was kind of like, you know, let's go, Detroit. I like the underdogs, man, and all things in life, man. Underdogs, you're on this channel. You're watching this channel. You're part of the channel. I told you a long time ago, it's not my channel. It's our channel. We do it together. I got you to the Super Bowl, brother. Char Charlie's my guy, man. Love you, bro. I love Charlie Parker, man. Good dude. But, you know, hey, man, it's our channel, man. We're in this thing together. And, you know, we're the underdogs, man. Most of the people on here, we're the underdogs. I don't know what happened to Rob, man. I can find out tomorrow, though. Detroit was probably tough. I don't know, man. Chris, I don't know if this stuff's set up. I don't believe it, man. These dudes have been wanting to make the Super Bowl all their lives since they were five years old. How much money could they possibly pay Josh Allen to throw an interception? How much money could they possibly pay, Steph pay Stephon Diggs to drop a ball? Not happening, man. These dudes got so much money, man. You know, when you got that much money, what is it, you know, in reality, most people, what does it really matter? You're sitting on $100 million, man. Who cares, man? You're sitting on 50 million. What the what, just live a nice life? Give me a 50 piece. Watch what I do. I'm gonna have a nice life. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not if I won the lotto, you might not believe this. But if I won the lotto, this I'd be doing this. I'd keep doing this. I like doing YouTube. I enjoy it. I like kicking it with everybody, man. We're the underdogs, man. We're in the struggle. Trust me, I'm not a you, I'm not YouTube rich. I promise you that, man. The Outlaw Feminist. If you haven't checked out the Outlaw Feminist, like I seen her on JD Delay, right? Like, I don't know, for some reason, whenever my my I jump on the phone sometimes at night and I look, and always JD Delay pops up. And I'm like, I just click on his videos. Like he's the type of dude who wants you to click on his videos. So I see this outlaw feminist on there. I'm like, she says something. I said, I'm gonna check her out. Boop. I click on her channel and I'm like, okay, the outlaw feminist. Um Kind of um, kind of just like shocked, I guess. His nipples are clickbait. Come on, bro. You're on YouTube, dude. What are you doing? Anyway, um, the outlaw feminist, there's her thing right there. Click on there, go subscribe, check her out. Um, 
And I was kind of digging her content. I tell you guys, I don't really watch much YouTube, but I had to check her out last night. And I'm like, okay, don't know a whole lot about her, about her, but she just reminded me of one of them. I don't know. In my mind, remember, I spent 20 years in prison straight. My mom, like, this chick is like, like a skater chick or, you know, a, a biker chick, but she looked cool as hell, right? So go check her out anyway, man. Oh, man, give J.D. You know something? I'm going to tell you guys something about J.D. Delay, what I really think, right? Damn, bro, don't start beefing with YouTubers, Chad. Now nah, I don't get into that shit. I'm going to tell you what I really think about J.D. Delay, man. You know, like I had him on the show. You can watch this, dude. Yeah, he gets a couple dollars, bro. He's entitled to that. He works. He works hard for his money. Don't get mad at him. But I think that dude really cares about people, man. That's the difference. I actually believe that dude cares. Look, there's a lot of shit that he does he don't have to do. That dude actually cares, man. He's kind of got a different, you know, different platform, right? Um, In his mind. Boxing match, you and JD. He looks like a pretty big dude, right? I don't know how tall he is, though. You know what I'm saying? And if he's really short, it's hard to, you know, hit the... I would never box JD Delay, man, unless we were donating the money to, like, St. Jude's or something. I think in a little bit, a little while from now, your business and your channel is going to explode. Right, we'll see what happens. But, you know, I make a living, man, getting people out of prison. I own a paralegal company. That's what I do, man. Um, You know what? YouTube don't pay my bills, man. I do this shit because I want to. Like I said, if I hit the lotto, I'd still be doing this shit because I like it. But anyway, that's what I really think. I've already interviewed Larry Lawton, and he interviewed me. Long time ago, Pink Panther. But um, anyway, yeah, I think dude really cares about people, man. He goes hard. Anybody um, anybody subscribe to the Outlaw Feminist? Go over there and hit that subscribe button. I think you'll, you'll like it. I was a legal secretary. Oh, yeah? For a bunch of... Well, now I'm shocked. Now, um, criminal law, what did you do over there? I'm going to shoot you an email. I'm going to shoot you an email. Interview Casper. Hit Casper up, man. Tell him to hit me up. We'll interview him. Outlaw feminist trying to be your clerk now. 49 hours marks need to get you an advertising gambling sponsorship, sir. You know, you get all these people, right? Real estate, okay. You get all you get all these people like send you these messages like, hey, we want to um we want you to like promote our stuff and our brand. And I'm like, man, some of the people, man, their English ain't even right. So you know, like that's I don't have no sponsors, man. Because I don't I, like I said, I do this shit because I want to, man. Please, can I get a book, Chad? 100 percent man. We're gonna send you a book. Email me their audio books narrated by me. I got you. Love your show. I had my wife watching you. She couldn't stop laughing. That's what's up. Hey, man, sometimes I right to come in here and just kick it and have a good um, have a good time. Sponsors are a problem. Yeah, I don't even I don't even respond, man. I'm like, man, this dude can't even speak English, man. He's, they're, they're trying to rob you. And you know what else, like, scared me? Remember when this shit happened with Jay Williams? That shit scared me right there, man. I'm like, nah, hell no. You know what I'm saying? Having, look, bro, you, you can tap the YouTube account, but if you tap the real account, I'm going to find you, big dog. Now, I'm one of them people, man, all my life, I've been like, I probably shouldn't tell you guys this, but I've always been like, yo, man, you do something to me, man, we got an issue. Like, I'm I'm trying to get I'm trying to get you back. You know what I'm saying? My mom and I were listening to you eating dinner. Moms love me. Yes. <laughs> anyway, it's all good, man. The outlaw at, at Alex John's town. Pay attention to the speaker. Glad I came across this channel. Has definitely helped me out. Well, I'm glad it helps you. Look, man, we do it because we want to, man. Um, got a video coming out tomorrow. Hopefully, you guys like it. Um, the outlaw feminist. I'm a mom. That's what's up. Told you, moms love me, man. <laughs> I'm just joking. Let me stop. Them bam is on the hunt. Hey, man, hit Joe Rogan up. Let's see what's up. You know, I talked to Johnny Mitchell. I went down there in L.A. He told me that he, you know, he kind of like knew him a little bit. Tried to get him to, you know, look out, but didn't work out. I believe in you, and I'm going to keep sending prayers up for you and spreading your name on YouTube channels. People need to know about Compassion Release, and that's what you do. That's what's up. We get people out of jail. Alex Johnstown Massacre, single mom. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, my boy Alex from Johnstown Massacre. He's trying to holla. Anyway, look, man, I appreciate everybody. I'm going to go take care of my kids, man. Love you guys. Appreciate you. We'll catch you guys tomorrow. Audio books, I'll be sending them out. Load on the Razor Wire TV until tomorrow. We're out of here. Casper, I didn't click off yet. Just email me, bro. The email's at the top. 
email me and I'll send you an audio book. 